Hey y'all, it's your girl Big Dula. Today I'm here with Music Heads Radio on the west end of Atlanta. And today we're out in the community just getting a few different opinions on a variety of topics that are pretty much having a big impact on the black community. So stay tuned. Today I'm here with Bash and Millie, and we're just going to get a general consensus of how they feel regarding some of the most biggest issues impacting the black community. My first question is, what are your guys' thoughts on reparations, and do you think the black community deserves it all throughout the United States? Um, yes, black people deserve it. Why? Because why are we paying, like, um, you know, like Jewish people for the Holocaust, but we can't even pay black people for freaking, like, we here, we built this whole everything so it's like like what's the issues uh you know passing like asian hate crime laws but black people just can't get shit. excuse my language but it's the truth what she said what she <laughs> literally like she took everything out of my mouth yeah absolutely and what are your guys' thoughts on police reform do you think that police reform needs to happen or should we just absolutely abolish police systems in general maybe reform i like fuck 12 by all means but niggas be tripping right so it's like, it's either going to be, we going to be going at each other, or if they could just do what they supposed to do, um, you know, all the, like, everything is basically against black people, right? Or, you know, lower, like, poor communities, because even white people, if they live in a com poor community, they're considered what? White trash, yeah. right? So it's just like, like, I don't think everybody realized that, is that, like, you basically the same as a black person if you're a white trash, you know what I'm saying? Because I watch plenty of documentaries where, Dave, in those country fuck towns, they be like getting like falsely accused of murder, all that type of stuff, just like we do. So it's just like if everybody could just put like color aside, right, and just like focus on the real issues, even like the laws, some of the laws don't even make sense, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like if they could just like focus on the real issues, like and be more like um, have more humanity at the end of the day. Um, and what are your guys' thoughts on the COVID vaccine? Have you been vaccinated? No. no. I'm scared. I feel like, like, you see, you watch, I watch the news. The news is fake, but sometimes it's like, all them people are dying. They pushing it too stuff. hard. Yeah, they giving they away free it. weed, free fast food, not even like healthy food. Washington giving out free pre-rolls and shit. Like, what type of shit is that? I feel like that's anti-black. I don't know how many black people in Washington or whatever like that, but that shit is crazy, like free joints for getting a vaccine. It's just like, yeah, it's just like you. To get a vaccine. I don't even know how to explain explain what I'm trying to say. Like, what's the word for it? It's like, it's like bait. It's like, it's gonna be like a bait and switch thing at the end of the day. Uh, vaccine passports. Niggas not gonna be able to go nowhere in a minute. So if you got, don't got your passport, get it right now. Cause it might be some loophole where you don't have to get a vaccine if you already got your, you know, passport and stuff like that. You never know. So yeah, no vaccines though. People having too many symptoms. They're not telling y'all how many people are dying from getting these vaccines and after having these vaccines. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and lastly, what are your thoughts on gentrification? Do you believe that gentrification is a real issue in the black community, or do you think that gentrification is happening everywhere despite the communities that are already well, well off? Uh, yeah, I feel like, like I live in a black community and yeah. half my neighbors are white all of a sudden. So it's just like, even like this area is finna be changing soon. Yeah, they about like, to knock this down. You know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. Yeah, they about to knock down, the mall. knock down the mall. If y'all didn't know, yeah. somebody bought that shit and it's about to and be some gonna, whole other shit. it's gonna be like offices and stuff Yeah, it's here. gonna be like, they probably gonna do a little marketplace, you know how they like to do every time they make a new neighborhood, they like to put a little marketplace and shit in there. But who knows? Um, gentrification, yeah, it's a thing. It's just being reversed now. Now all of a sudden they all wanna come back to the city. They done moved all the niggas out to the to like the suburbs and shit, and now that shit becoming like it's getting reckless out there. Not saying that we the reason, but it's just like when you put all of the same people in one place and then you don't give them no real resources, you just move them somewhere. It's like what do you expect to happen? So, well, thank you, Bash and Millie. We really appreciate your answers. Absolutely, y'all have a blessed day. Hey, by the way, I'm Jason, Jason the Barber. Hello America, black folks deserve some get back. Yes, yeah. Black people stop being cheap and spend money with your black folk. Stop being cheap. If the care if the haircut $40, spend $40. If the haircut $50, spend $50. Stop being cheap. Spend it with your brothers and sisters. Spend that money. Why this money? That's a great answer. Thank you, Jason. Is there anything else you would like to say? Oh, yeah. I'm at 922 Metropolitan Parkway. Haircuts on deck. Holla at your boy at JJDA Barber on Instagram.
And that was Jason. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yes, ma'am.